Hi everyone, welcome to Supermatics. Please subscribe for educative math tutorials. Today we want to evaluate this expression. To simplify this expression, we're going to start with one of the properties of exponents and powers. So this can be rewritten as 111 times 1 all squared. The second term can be written as 111 times 2 all squared. The third one can be written as 111 times 3 squared. So we go on like that. 111 times 4 squared all squared. 111 times 5 all squared until we get to the last term. 999 squared which becomes 111 times 9 all squared. There are 9 terms in the expression that we want to simplify. Now, this law of exponents and power that we're going to be introducing is the fact that when we have a product like A times B and the product is altogether based to an exponent, it is going to be A to the exponent of m multiplied by b to the exponent of m it is called it is called power of a product as one of the laws of exponents and powers so we're going to apply this to the expression we have above and that means our expression becomes 111 squared times 1 squared plus 111 squared times 2 squared plus 111 times 3 squared and it continues like that until we get to the last term which is 111 squared times 9 squared so what we do next here is to factorize we factorize the highest common factor or what we can call the greatest common factor so that the expression becomes 111 squared as that is the greatest common factor that is the greatest common factor now inside the bracket we are going to have the sum of the squares of 1 2 3 and so on up to 9 Now, at this point, there is another important mathematical uh, concept that we are going to apply. And that is what the sum of squares of all numbers, integers, positive integers, how to evaluate the sum of squares of positive integers. And there is an expression for that. We call that the sum of squares of all numbers. up to as many as we have let's say up to n can be obtained by using n where n is the number of terms times n plus 1 then 2n plus 1 everything divided by 6 so this same thing is what we're going to apply to what we have in the parentheses in the brackets here and that simply means that our expression that we are trying to simplify becomes 111 squared. Then, in the bracket, since n equals to 9, we are going to have um, 9 times 9 plus 1 in bracket, times 2 times 9 plus 1 in bracket, that's 2n minus 1 everything divided by 6 and this becomes 111 squared then in the bracket we have 9 times 9 plus 1 is 10 then times 2 times 9 here is 18 and 18 plus 1 is 19 so that's times 19 and all divided by 6
Now, in the bracket, there are some numbers that can uh, be cut off, I mean, using common factors. So here, 3 can go in 6 to give us 2, while in 9, it gives 3. Then 2, we cut out 2 to give 1, while 2 cuts 10 to give 5, which means that in the bracket, we have 3 times 5 times 19 left. So we are going to then be left with 11, 111 squared times 3 times 5 times 19. And when we do 3 times 5 times 19, it gives us 285. So that becomes 111 squared times 285. And this can finally be written as 285 times 111 squared, or better still, 285 with 111 squared in bracket. The second expression we want to simplify or evaluate is 24 to the exponent of 24, all divided by 12 to the exponent of 12. So to do this, we can write this first as, I mean, talking about the numerator can be written as 24 to the exponent of 12 plus 12. So that it aligns with what we have in the denominator. The denominator, don't forget, is 12 to the exponent of 12. And recall that in the laws of exponents and power, we have the law that we call product law. That is, when we have a to the exponent of m plus n in reverse now is the same thing as a to the exponent of m times a to the exponent of n. So applying this on the numerator, applying this on the numerator makes our, our numerator to become 24 to the exponent of 12 times 24 to the exponent of 12. Then everything over 12 to the exponent of 12. This can be written as 24 to the exponent of 12 times, we want to try, we want to try to separate this numerator and denominator. So that becomes 24 to the exponent of 12 divided by 12 to the exponent of 12. And we apply another interesting law of exponent and power, which we call the law of um, the power of a quotient. We call it the power of a quotient. And it goes thus. When we have a quotient, A having a power, having an exponent, M, and um, B having the same exponent, M, the two of them can be written as um, a quotient, A over B, all or both having the power M, so we can put the quotient in brackets and then put the power therein. So applying this law of exponents and power to this part, it is going to become 24 over 12 to the exponent of 12 altogether. So that the expression becomes 24 to the exponent of 12 times 24 over 12 altogether having an exponent of 12. And we know that 24 divided by 12 is 2. I mean, 24 divided by 12 is 2. So the expression becomes 24 to the exponent of 12 multiplying 2 to the exponent of 12. Now, at this point also, we apply another law of exponent and power. That's the power of a product. The power of a product goes thus. If we have a to the exponent of m multiplying b to the exponent of m. They are having the same exponent, so can be written as a product a times b, now both having the exponent of m. Applying this to the expression that we have, it is going to become 24 multiplied by 2 to the exponent of 12. And 24 multiplied by 2 is 48. So the final answer becomes 48 to the exponent of 12. I believe you have learned something. Uh, please help us grow 
by liking our videos, leaving your comments, your questions and recommendations in the comment section or, or to the email attached to the description below. Subscribe to the channel as well and watch out for other exciting videos coming from this channel. Thank you.